this is Rick Hubble, and this is another video blog entry for my Parkinson's journal. As you can tell at the moment, I've got dyskinesia going on due to side effects of the medication. The levodopa that I'm taking, plus in combination with Azelec, creates that. But there's some stuff I need to update you on, because my last post on my blog stated that I hadn't had much progression this year. And up to that point, that was true. But I had some things happen that have kind of changed the mix on that at this point. So I wanted to update you on that and what's going on. First, some of the good news, which has actually caused some of this problem. So it's good in what it's for, but it's bad in what it turned out to happen. So I'll explain. Um, the good news is, is that I decided to participate in a clinical trial for a Minidin ER. Now, Minidin was a drug that I was on, but this is an extended release version that they're trying to get FDA approval for. So, but I had to get off of the Minidin that I was on in order to participate in this study. And so, therefore, uh, when I got off of the amenidin, as has happened with other people, your Parkinson's symptoms can actually end up getting worse. That's probably what happened to me. When I got off of the amenidin, uh, I did, all my dyskinesia went totally away, which was surprising because it's supposed to help get rid of dyskinesia, so when it goes away, you expect dyskinesia to get worse. But then I also noticed that my tremors were worse, and the arm stiffness in my left arm was worse than normal. And that's when it dawned on me, duh, getting off the amenity and actually make my symptoms worse. So the amount of levodopa that I was taking at that point was not accomplishing what I wanted to have happen. And it wasn't taking care of the tremors anymore. So I ended up doubling my my levodopa dose instead of taking one pill three times a day I'm taking two pills three times a day and that seemed to effectively help with that but in the process I've noticed that the time it works is shorter and the dyskinesia is a little more pronounced than what it was before when I started on the Mendeden the first time so because of getting off a minute and my Parkinson's has actually gotten a little worse than it was before. Uh, now, the good, the good news might be that with this minute and study, I'll actually be getting back on a minute and, but there's no guarantee on that because the study is uh, one third placebo, one third uh, a minute and at 250 milligrams a day and another third of the people will get 350 milligrams a day. And there's no way for me or even the doctors to know what I'm getting because it's a randomized study. So nobody other than some body in who knows where knows what I'm actually getting. But I'll find out, I guess, toward the end of the study. I'll find out whether I actually got it. Now, I think I'll probably get an idea whether I'm getting placebo or not, or whether I notice any improvements. I don't feel like I'm very placebo uh, susceptible. About a third of people are, and so there's a lot of people that are not susceptible to, to uh, placebo effect. But I think because I know what the side effects that happened to me, I'll have an idea whether I'm getting one or not getting the real thing or not. So we'll see. And my wife is hoping that I get the real thing and not a placebo because she doesn't want me to have to struggle as much. And uh, so it's a 26 week study so it shouldn't end in sometime in June or July of this year. But anyway, toward the end of January, I'm supposed to get a the drug started, assuming everything goes as well. I'm going back in for another blood test because my platelet count was low 
I guess they need to be that at a certain level for the study. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But anyway, that's where I stand on that. Before I didn't have any progression all year. Now I've ended up with some thanks to getting off a of minute and and uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, and we'll see if the extended release, should I get the actual drug, actually helps with the dyskinesia any better. It did, the original drug did help with, with the muscle stiffness in my left arm, but it didn't seem to affect the dyskinesia a whole lot. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot. So that's the update that I had. Uh, hopefully the study will be successful. And I'll either go back on my regular dose of amenadin at the end of it, or depending on how that goes, I might do something totally different once I talk to the doctor, who knows. I'm also looking at hopefully figuring out whether I can get DVS surgery this year or not. And I gotta look into figuring out how to pay for it. <laughs> and those surgeries run anywhere from $35,000 to $75,000. And so there's like about three or four options that I have that might be able to pay for that. So we're going to figure that out and see if that can be a good option because that would really help with the tremors and get rid of the most of the side effects with the levodopa that I'm having. And so that's where we stand. Just wanted to give this quick video blog update on where we're at and let you know, I guess, that here at the beginning, end of 2015, beginning of 2016, that I've actually had some progression. Uh, whether it's permanent or not, I don't know. But at the current time, uh, the times I'm on are less than the times I'm off. So it's a constant switching back and forth between tremors and dyskinesia when the medication's on. And uh, so hopefully this year we'll figure out something to deal with that more effectively. Thank you very much. Until next time, Rick signing off on this last day of Christmas, right before Epiphany actually. We're already in Epiphany because it's past midnight when I'm recording this. So we're actually on the 6th, but yesterday was last day of Christmas, so it's the last day our Christmas tree is up and the last day that this face will be clean shaven because I give my wife 12 days of clean shaven Christmas face to kiss <laughs> and so the hair will be growing starting to grow back tomorrow and over the next couple of weeks so I'll get my beard back and be normal again until then this is Rick Koppel signing off till next time Thank you.